Premier League new club, the richest club in world football. By the way, <laughs> yeah, that's true. true. It's true. Um, even though they've not really had a chance to spend those that big money, but Kieran Trippier, of course, did make his uh, debut for Newcastle United. But Cambridge were the team that we're going to talk about now. I'm delighted to say, join us on the line, victorious manager, Cambridge United manager Mark Bonner joins us now. Good evening, Mark, and congratulations, buddy. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Good evening to you and Andy. Yes, uh, thanks for having us on. Good evening, Mark. Mark, just tell us then. So. What was the look? You knew you were playing against a team that are struggling in lots of ways, confidence wise, low. You know, obvious. There are obvious reasons to to suggest that your boys could have given them a game. What was the the biggest thing that you felt your players had to overcome in order to win the game? No, I think first of all, you know, you're going to have to be at the very top of your game and, and hope that one or two things go your way on the night when when the draw was made. I mean. Going into the game, you, you don't really know what the opposition team's going to put out with all the COVID issues at the moment. And, Very true. You know, we, we, we saw that team because they're a really strong side out. So um, I think the biggest thing for us was we were going to walk into in, an incredible atmosphere, something we're, we're not used to and um, in terms of the numbers of people and the, the stage that we were on and the pressure that that brings. So I, for, for me, the biggest thing was to make sure that we went out and played like us. Um, and, and that the occasion wasn't too big for us and I was delighted with how we did that Yeah, we've been talking Mark on the show about about some of the lower league teams with respects trying to trying to play out from the back against some of the big boys now did you did you do much of that at the weekend was that was that something that you encourage your players to do or is that something that you park when you're perhaps playing against a, a stronger 11 on paper uh, yeah I mean I think in the main look we have, we have a that isn't um, so obsessed by building from the goalkeeper in many ways. I think when the space is there and you've got an overload deep in the pitch, then you might be able to do it. But but we, we went and played as we play. You know, we've got a strength at the top end of the pitch. We've got a physical presence at the top end of the pitch. And um, we're best in the attacking half when we play like that. So, but yeah, we, we don't sort of make any apologies for the way in which we play and, and our, uh, the nature in which we want to play the game. And, and we feel that that can bring us a real strength. So for us, it was a case of doing what we normally do um, and hoping that it can... everything went our way on the day that, that had to and we were able to do that. So it's a really momentous occasion for everybody. Well, when you when you get um, teams like Cambridge going to the big heads, you know, it, it feels to me as though it's like there's periods in games can you get through. First 15 minutes, then you get to half an hour. And at half time, it's nil-nil. There must have been that belief starts to grow. Um, what, what what did you say at half time? What was your message to the, to the, yeah, the I mean, guys? Yeah, I mean, no doubt with that. I think you get through every period. And if you can quieten the crowd and start to frustrate them, once you get to half time in that position, you know that you've done a really good job so for us it was about understanding look that they're still going to be there in the second half we're going to have to overcome and we're going to have to defend brilliantly so we we really talked tactically around those bits um, and the players really talked about the belief that we can get a moment we can get a chance that they're a group that really believe in themselves and and will go the distance with people so um, it was a combination of the tactical bit of the game but also the the belief that we can get something from it and the players led that really. Yeah. Any particular plans for someone like St. Maximin, Mark? No, <laughs> yeah. and the reason why I ask because he look, he's such he's a dangerous player if you let him get going. Yeah. So how do you how do how did you best try and combat his threat? Yeah, I think it's like anything, isn't it? You come against the best players and the most athletic players, you've got to try and take away their space and, and we couldn't allow ourselves too often to be one versus one against people. We needed cover and we needed to be compact to try and help that. But it's a big, big pitch. They make it big. They can execute the passes. You've got John Joe Shelby zinging diags from left to right and, yep. and you've got a lot of work to do. So in the end, you, you know you're going to have to defend your box brilliantly and we did that with a real desire and an urgency to not concede. The goalkeeper made some outstanding saves. So across the board, you, you have to have every little moment go your way and we managed to get the first goal in the game which was really important um, and yeah, look, we, we, we dug in and held on and the spirit of our team really shone through. Yeah. Did, did Eddie Howe, did your opposite number say anything much to you after? Yeah, it was really complimentary. I, I'm, 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 I'm really impressed by him. Really, I mean, it, not that he needs that from me. That there's plenty I can learn from him. But I think the way he conducts himself and speaks is outstanding. And mm. he's, uh, he's got a big job there. But um, he was very complimentary to us afterwards and um, really respectful in that way. So I, w- I was very grateful for that. Well, in the next round, Mark, you've got a home tie against Luton Town. Um, this is a, a game that's that both sides, I suppose, will feel it's it's, it's quite winnable. But having the home advantage. How do, you, how do you feel about that? Or do you have preferred, I don't know, maybe a, I don't know, Aston Villa, Man United, Arsenal, well, Arsenal are out, but, but West Ham, a Premier League side away? 
you know, I think the competition for teams at our level is about memories and money, and you want to try and take as much money out of the competition right. as you can, yes. But the memories that we got from that game at the weekend will, will live with us forever. Okay. So they for will. us, yeah, you'd like to have those. But look, we've got a home tie. It's a local derby. It would have a chance of television. We've got a good history against each other in cup competitions and having been in the National League together not too long ago. Um, and I think it'll be a really competitive game, but a really tough one for us. Luton are doing some great work. Nathan's doing a great job there. We know mm. that'll be a tough, tough game for us. But look, it's one to look forward to. And then alongside all of that, we've got to get back to the bread and butter of the, the league and, and crack on trying to get better. Well, listen, Mark, congratulations. Yeah, well um, done, you mate. Know, and, and long may it continue. Hopefully, you know, we'll be speaking to you uh, in a couple of weeks' time. That means that you've got past Luton Town and who knows, might find yourself deep into the competition. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Thanks Cheers, a lot. buddy. Take care. Mark uh, Bonner there. Uh, Cambridge United manager after a brilliant uh, result and, and performance and, away and, at and against United. Jay against against the Newcastle team Dubravka, Trippier, yeah. Crap, oh, Shah, oh, Rich, no, Matt mate. Ritchie John Joshua Joe Linton Fraser St. Maximan Murphy uh, you name it they're Listen, all that, out there that, that is a team there if you saw that in the Premier League yeah. you'd go yeah, okay, yeah. That's, you know, that, that's what you'd expect when I saw the when I saw that they were losing 1-0 I expect to see a number of players I didn't recognise, you know, like under under twenty threes or yeah. under nine, some, something like that. Not a bit of it. They're, no. Every one of those players I recognised as well. Uh, congratulations to him, uh, Mark Bonner there, Cambridge United manager. You asked a very cool mate. Go on, uh, well, look, I, I, something I want to speak to you about before we because we've only got a quarter of an hour or so left now. Yeah. Um, goalkeepers, right yeah. now. Again, Mark, I asked Mark about playing out from the back, and he said, "Look, not a priority for us. We like to serve it forward. We're better mm, at the top yeah. of the field. Good for him, and that gives him a chance." in the competition moving forward in my honest opinion yeah. um, but goalies right are we going to how long is it going to be before feet are more important than hands for a goalkeeper what are you saying what, wear gloves on their feet no I'm not saying that am I putting a pair of, can you imagine imagine going no, a pair of gloves yeah someone just pulled these on for me and just yeah no no, no. what I'm saying but the reason why I'm, like years ago I would have suggested if you were scouting a goalkeeper if you sent your scout to go and watch a goalie right. and and right you'd have you'd have gone you'd have come back and you'd have said to your boss your manager good hands he's got good hands yeah good, mm. you know good hands wants to come for crosses wants to dominate his six yard box uh, got good presence he's a big guy he's got good size that Character, look, listen, we know that. We know it's because not for the faint art did he in goal. Yeah, we know forget, he's out there every that. week. Forget, what, Number what, five, what, feet. Yeah, he? He's, he can kick the ball. He's decent. He's half decent when he kicks it. Right. Where are feet now? Oh, feet are right up there. Look, right, so feet are more important than hands? No. <laughs> no. So they're, they're right up there, but they're not. But, but it depends who you're playing for. If you're, if you're playing, you know, depends what level. If you're, if you're at the very elite level and you're playing for a team like Man City... Barcelona, teams that want to play on the floor, you know, historically yep. only what they're, they're interested. It's like they're playing a five-a-side, blow head height, right? Is that what you're talking about? Rough, you know, that sort of that sort of football, right? I, I I think that is going to be as important as it is your handling. I really do. And I think we've, we're already seeing it, aren't we? So Chelsea played Leicester away, right, a couple of weeks ago. It was in November after the international break, right? I'd done the game for Chelsea TV in the commentary. Edward Mendy did not touch the ball in the first half with his hands once. Did he not? Well, wow. Not once. They were poor Leicester, by the way. They they said a goal disallowed, but the only time he picked the ball out of the net was when the goal was disallowed. Um, Lookman scored, it was offside. Other than that, free kicks, balls back to him. Didn't touch it with his hands once. First time he touched it was about the 48th minute from a shot from the edge of the box. Have we got a goalie out there that actually we recognise is actually a bit better with his feet than he is his hands? I can't, I mean, look, I can't, on the top of my head, I can't no. think of one. No, you, you've got to be able to do both. You can't be, you can't be pinging 30 yard balls and then going through his fingers. No. You can't have, you can't have, it's like Liverpool, right? No, but so, I don't, I don't mean like letting silly ones in. I don't, I don't mean that. So you're that. saying, could you, are I'm you saying I'm just meaning that, not dominant, not, not. You're saying Pirlo could play in goal? No, I'm not saying Pirlo can play in goal because he ain't big enough. What about okay? What about big Pirlo? And he's what, what about okay? What about <laughs> what, what about what about a six foot? What okay? What about Zinedine Zidane's pomp? Could you see Zidane in goal? In a in a in a, in a proper team, in like his Real Madrid team that yeah. winning everything. Could he play in goal? He could stand on the edge of the box, ain't keep giving it back to him, and he can <laughs> hit one with the outside of his boot. Are we going to see that? Are we going to see that one no, day? We're, I, I, we're, look, we're, it's just like, we're literally. Can you imagine, right? If Pep done that, right? He's got loads of injuries. He's saying, Do you know what? I'm, I'm putting De Bruyne in goal. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, no, I no, no. I've got injuries to the keepers. Forget all that. Do you know, it'd be really interesting to see, wouldn't it? It would be, because you ain't going to, if if the ball goes back to him and he's in goal, no one, he ain't going to panic, is he? 
You ain't going to rush him and make him sweat. <laughs> like Jack Butland at the weekend, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Jack Butland, bag of nerves, wasn't he, when that ball went back to him, yeah. right? And, and again, I, you see, he's had a tough time, Jack, really, because it wasn't mm. that long ago that he was... You know, no, that he was a squad. regular at Stoke, England yeah, squad, yeah, Jay, and getting yeah. And then all of a sudden he's just kind of disappeared a little bit and and then he gets a game at the weekend like that, the ball goes back to him and he's like Michael Flatley with the ball, you know, he's like tap dancing <laughs> in his own six-yard box. And I'm thinking, just get yeah. rid of it. Boot it. Do You know, you're in there to just, you're a big guy, you're in there to make saves, get your hands yeah. on the ball, come and grab a few crosses, et cetera, et cetera, you know. But but it's seemingly now that, that we are now into, in an era where... Feet uh, as a requirement for a goalkeeper. I'd love to. What's the percentage? Hands to feet now. I reckon goalkeepers touch the ball more with their feet than they do with their hands. I'd love to see Edison, Allison, Mendy, the, the, play, the teams that play out from the back. Yeah, who, that, that's their that's their ethos, that's their philosophy. I reckon they touch the ball more with their feet than they do their see, hands. See, I, th- I think Edison is incredible with the with the ball at his feet. He's just unbelievable. And he is prepared to launch it 75 yards. And it finds its target. And it and yeah. it's a light blue shirt, right? He's got he can do that. But uh see I don't think Allison is brilliant with the ball at his feet. But I reckon he touches it more with his but feet he, does But he, he does, but he's prepared to stand on the yes, edge he, of his bolter. He will, he will bounce bounce balls off. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he's prepared to go there and he will try and knock it into the pivot and 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 get teams playing. But I just I just don't get why so many clubs are so upset. It's like Pep has set the yeah. ultimate trap here. Yeah. He's yeah. invented this. Yes, and they say, look, they'll all copy me, but we're going to be better at it But than they're them. no good at it. You know, it's like that, isn't it? It is. It's, it's, it's amazing, really. Kevin it is, De Bruyne but... in goal. Will it happen? No, of course it won't. No, I mean, it's not going to happen. That, 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 that ain't going to happen. But, but if it did... You, the you chief would... scout now, when he goes and watches a goalkeeper, yeah. he comes back, and the first, what's the first question the manager asks now? Not about how big he is, how, no. how good were his hands, did he go... Can he play? Can he play at the back? Can yeah. he play? I guarantee that's the first thing the coaches ask for. And changing times, my boy. There you go. 03717 If you've got any thoughts on that, you're more than welcome to get involved. This is Drive here on TalkSport. Andy Townsend, Jason Cundy. And we buy any car. Get a free online quote. In under 30 seconds, enter your reg number now. 